drafters for today's video i will going to show you how to make the floor plan using the cad application i have here two ways in creating the wall thickness so in creating a floor plan you need to create first the wall thickness so we have here the outside wall thickness and the inside wall thickness so the uh, architectural standard for outside wall thickness is 0 0.5 and the inside wall thickness is 0 0.10. The first way is setting the multi-line. Type ML style. Set the offset limit by 0 0.00, 0 0.75, and negative 0 0.75 for outside wall. Where did I get the 0 0.75? I get it by dividing into two the walls of the outside wall thickness of 0 0.5. I have here the sample of the floor plan that we will going to create the outside wall thickness. So as you can see, it has the dimensions that we will going to do. Now, we will going to set now the multi-line by typing in our command line, ML style. And then we're just going to create new. And then we will going to title this multi-line by outside wall without space. Okay, outside wall. Because if we will going to have the space, the continue will not be um, selected. Okay, so let's just have without space, continue. And then for the outside wall, we need 0 0.75 and then negative 0 0.75. And then we will going to add 0 right here because we will going we need 3. Okay, if we will going to see here, we need 3. And then, we just need the color by layer, the line type by layer, and then OK. And then, we're just going to set current. So, if you will go to see here the free view, you can see the outside wall, and then OK. Then, ML, enter, J, and then if we will go to see the justification, we only need the zero, enter. And then, just have to select in here by three, two, uh -huh, two, and and then going down by 4 by 4 and then 3.92 and then we're going down here by 2 4.08 and then 6 and then a 4 I just got to close this one by typing C and then enter so we're just going to apply the layer of walls so now there you go we're done doing the outside wall now, if you were going to ask me, teacher, why is it three lines? Why do you have three lines there? So, if you were going to observe the dimension here, it's actually the dimension is located in the middle of the columns. So, that's why we really need these lines, the middle lines, so that we will going to locate if we have the windows here in between, windows in between of this column in middle so that we can uh, access it easily or we can put there easily now we will going to create the out the inside wall so ml style again enter and then we will going to set a new make sure that it will change into standard the start with standard and then inside wall without space inside wall without space and then continue and then 0 0.05 then negative 0 0.05 0 .05, and then we're going to add 0 okay then type line type make sure it's by layer the color is by layer and then okay and then we're just going to set current and then okay so now the ml enter also the justification is another 0 from here by 4 this one by this one by four and then just going to do it in here now we just need to mirror this one from here go in here and then we're just going to create a line from here for about i think 1.5 again 1.5 and then just create in here and then ml again there you go. So we're done doing this in this area. This here from here, uh -huh, ML star, ML enter by two, 
and then just going to close this one okay so let's just select all of these and then wall so as you can see the difference of the outside wall and the inside wall there you go we're done doing let's the go inside now to the second way in creating the wall thickness and floor plan so second way is of sifting the middle line using the wall thickness so in wall thickness if it's uh, outside wall or inside wall thickness and then we're going to create now the columns using the polyline with a distance of 0 0.30 by 0 0.30 and then we're going to use the solid hash to shade the box created so if we will go into different shade, what is the first way? The use of multi-line and the use of offset. So we will go into select this one, the use of multi-line. So which, once we select this one, all the multi-line is selected. Rather than here in the second one, once we select one line, we're just only selected the one line. And like here in multi-line, we just create this one. Okay, so if you will going to have this, make sure that you will going to explode these lines so that you will not... Um, 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 difficulty have the difficulty for trim. Now let's go now to the hatch. Okay, so when creating the hatch, we're going to create a box using the polyline in the measure of 3.3. I mean 3.3 by 0.3. Okay, we're just going to create a box. See, enter, and then just going to create hatch by using the hatch command. H, enter, and then we're just going to select the object and then. Um, choose the solid okay the hatch and then close hatch then select all of these and then apply the column again if we will go into create pl enter and then 0 0.03 by 0 0.03 uh-huh by 3.3 .3 rather then 0.3 and then 0.3 and then just going to hatch it pick the um, object and then solid Okay, and then apply the layer of column and then select all of these and then CO enter from the middle we're just going to get this one and then paste here in the intersection or in the middle of this columns okay so that we can have this the columns okay or the uh, I mean in the center of these walls here so the column is actually the foundation of the house that's why we really need columns in a floor plan and there you go we're done doing the columns and also the first way and the second way of doing the wall thickness